Many continue to be outraged tonight at the charges against the New York bodega owner who fatally stabbed a man who attacked him. We've got new video today that seems to further support a claim of self defense and again raising questions about why Jose Alba was charged at all. Here's what we know tonight 51 year old Jose Alba was charged with second degree murder after fatally stabbing 37 year old career criminal Austin Simon. Alba was working at a bodega in Harlem when a woman tried to pay for food. But her card was declined. She argued with Alba before she went home and brought her boyfriend, Simon, back with her. Simon can be seen pushing Alba, which eventually leads to Simon being stabbed to death. The alleged victim in the incident was out on parole at the time after being imprisoned for assaulting a police officer. Now we're getting a new angle. This is new footage from the opposite angle of the altercation. You can see Simon's girlfriend pull out what appears to be a knife from her purse and stab Alba, that is according to his lawyer, three times. As of now, she has not been charged with any crime. Now, for perspective, if you've ever been in one of these bodegas, they're very tiny. Alba has basically nowhere to go. Meanwhile, many are furious at liberal Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg for still refusing to drop the charges altogether. We'll say Alba's charges should all be dropped, murder charges and any charges that he's being charged with, because it's the right thing to do. It is absolutely horrific what happened. We saw the footage. The footage doesn't lie. And we are asking, we are asking the DA, Alvin Bragg, to please take into consideration this footage and make sure that he provides Mr. Alba, the justice that he deserves. Not only from uh, Mayor Eric Adams also, who's calling for all charges to be dropped, but also a group of seven bipartisan city council members who wrote to Bragg saying in part, quote, the fact that you're even prosecuting Mr. Alba reveals how your perverse sense of justice not only protects violent criminals, but actively seeks to destroy the lives of crime victims. After serving six nights at the notorious Rikers Island Jail, Alba was released after his bail was lowered from $250,000 to $50,000. He's now out, expected to be in court on July the 20th. Joining me now is John Muffler, former U.S. Marshal. He now runs a company that specializes in high-level security. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, I'm going to ask our producers to put some of the footage, the new footage that we saw over you as you talk about it and tell us what you make of it. Thank you. Pleasure to be on your show. So what do you make of the footage? So uh, the original footage, or that footage we're show seeing right now with a girl who uh, appears to be reaching into her purse and pulling out a knife. At the time this is happening, Alba is fighting for his life. He was just thrown to his seat. He tried to get out of the way. It looked like the uh, perpetrator tried to put him in a wrist lock as he was trying to get out of that little spot. And now he's confronted w by the girlfriend at the same time. This is, you'll see this as he's coming out here, a little bit of a wrist lock right there and a turn. And Alba had went for a knife, had a knife for self-defense. And in that confrontation in that little spot, he's also confronted now. He's got nowhere to go. The door is blocked. His only exit is blocked and the girl reaches for her alleged weapon or knife and begins to also physically assault Mr. Alba. I mean, is this just a New York City thing? I mean, I, I would think that anywhere else in the country, uh, these charges would have been dropped, never would have been brought, et cetera. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, I, I, I see this as self-defense. I understand, you know, this is an altercation that happens super fast. You know, he was stabbed five times. But, you know, think about uh, in a boxing arena or something like that where how many punches can be thrown that fast. And that is what, you know, Alba is using for his defense is a knife. But I agree with you. So in these, these cities across the country, I think my personal opinion is, you know, I don't see Alba as any kind of vigilante, but citizens across the country yeah. are fearing for their well, safety. And, and, and the age and size matters, too, right? Absolutely. You have a young man who's physically fit, intimidating, and you see he when he's sitting in that seat, he's moving face to face with him to further intimidate him. There's about a 30 year difference. And obviously he's physically fit. And so the strength 
uh, and age disparity is significant and should be taken in consideration by the DA's office. Maybe this is wishful thinking on my part, but I am betting that eventually these charges are going to get dropped. Not that it's going to go to trial and he's going to be acquitted, but I will bet that the charges will be dropped, but I hope so. We shall see. John Mulford, thank you so much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Steve Ben, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.